Welcome on my Kosi Network, welcome to the channel. Today we chat about our new signing Russian Dotli. We create these uh, our new three signings, Bongani Sam, uh, Unatwari, and um, Dotli. And also we talk about Tumkwana, the news about Tumkwana is still coming back. Yo, 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 yo. But anyway, and the other story we're going to chat about is Keza Chief's new kit. Yes, some of us saw it. it Chips, yeah, now when I was so hey, is that the chips chat? All right, all right. So, the chips jersey is gonna be launched on the 25th of July. We're excited, it looks nice, it's very, it's very, very nice. Looks like my colors are right here. My cooler guns, I'm go get it. If you don't know, now you know. But anyway, let's before we get into that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you for your support, guys. Thank you for your support. We are almost at 5,000, but I think we are 10 subscribers on five. 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. But anyway, let's get into it, guys. We're going to be creating. Let's actually get the Mkwana story out of the way. Mkwana, you know, he has a deal to go to what is it, Esperance, or I don't know, is it Egypt or where, somewhere in North Africa? People were fighting with me saying it's not Tunisia. Guys, I said Tunisia or somewhere like that. I didn't say it's exactly Tunisia because now I don't know. But anyway, apparently. Sikukune and that team that is wherever it is have agreed meaning that they're like thank you we like that price you want and uh, Sikukune was like thank you for the price and that team was like this is how much you're offering sharp the problem is they say is Mukwana they say Mukwana hasn't agreed personal terms because apparently Umukwana Yena himself does not want to go to North Africa he he says he likes the the basically the deal from the uh, local South African team. Local South African team is most likely going to be Kaiser Chiefs or Pirates maybe. But I think Kaiser Chiefs offered, spoke to Mukwana and his agent. And I think Mukwana actually prefers the Kaiser Chiefs deal. So why am I adding this? Until the boy agrees personal terms, it's not over. He can still end up being a Kaiser Chiefs supporter. I mean, player. He can still be a Kaiser Chiefs player. So I'm bringing this because some of us were celebrating that, yes, that Mukwana story is gone. We're happy. It's Jabuli. Let's be happy. But now, since be sad, it's back. But we could be crying tomorrow because the guy could be a Kaiser Chiefs player at the end of the day. I don't know what's going to happen. What cheese, man? What cheese coming back from Turkey very soon? Hey, things are going to start happening in the South African market. People are going to be announced. But I just hope our police is one of them. Um, I, I hope uh, we maybe an Adams or whatever. I just hope those guys are part of these deals. But let's create our signing so far. Let's create Rushin Dodley. Rushin Dodley, I am going to... How can we grade it? We're going to grade it between A, B, C, or D, right? We're not going to be do A plus and all of those things, no. Rushin Dodley. A very much needed center back slash left back. I am gonna create this in A because we have been struggling with the left back position. This boy is solid on the left back, but he's not the most attacking. But he can also play left center back. So I say it's a positive. I say it's an A. But will he prove us to be an A? We don't know. But the next one is going to be Bongani Sam. What grading do I I, I grade Bongani Sam signing? Bongani Sam signing. I grade a. A D. I want to say a D or a C if I'm being generous. D or C. The reason why I'm saying this, a lot of you are going to be saying that's very low grading. Uh, the reason why I'm saying it's a D or a C, which for me is a bad rating, is that I don't think he's going to add anything beneficial to us that we don't already have. We have Mashian. He's an upgrade of Mashian. So, like, you get what I'm saying? You you get but anyway, so that's my take on Ubong and Sam. I don't think it's the best thing under the sun. But he can have a good career achieves. But it's going to be that player who you don't really care if he's not in the lineup. But when he's there, you're like, oh, Ubong and Sam, you played very well. Well done, Ubong Sam. But when he's not there, you're not going to be like, oh, well, Sam, coach. No, we won't do that. But anyway, that's the kind of player I view him as. But I hope he proves me wrong because that's what we want. And then our new goalkeeper, our new goalkeeper has to be a a B. I'm gonna give him a B. Why do I give him a B? B because the positives we needed a keeper. He looks like a very strong keeper. He looks like he can actually contribute to to cheese winning and stuff like that. But why would why wouldn't I give him an A? The reason why I'm not giving him an, an A is because 
in the league itself, in the whole league itself, the PSL league, he hasn't often been that keeper that everyone is like, this guy is good. Meaning, we haven't said he's bad. We've seen he's been good at TS Galaxy. But nothing made him pop out to say he can be the number one of Chiefs. So he still has to prove himself to that, that how good he is. So there's also that element of he could still fail. So another thing is that he hasn't been seen as the most, the bear, one of the best keepers in the PSL, but it's because he just joined the PSL, so he's still growing and he's probably going to show it. And the next point is that he's a foreigner. I often say if you're going to sign a keeper that is foreign as a foreigner, he has to be the absolute best, absolute best keeper. If you're going to waste a foreign spot on a keeper, you should never, never waste a foreign spot on the keeper unless that keeper is something else, one of the best. That's one thing I'll say. Wasting a foreign spot on a keeper for me is very, very bad. But anyway, and for me, like I always say, Peter Lewenberg is someone I would have said, Peter, because Peter is big, he knows how to save, he plays well in Europe, and he did, he did well at Cape Town City, but that is just me. But anyway, Let's get to the next point where we chat about the Kaiser Chiefs keeper. I am going to put the skipper in the background so you guys will be able to see the Kaiser Chiefs keeper. That is apparently what it will look like. So you guys will let me know what you think about that. But other than that, it's Friday. Kaiser Chiefs, it's good, it's good for us that we have these signings. But one thing I will say before I end this video is this. We have three signings, right? We have three signings. We released quite a few players. The one thing that worries me is we are signing players very late. One thing that is on our side is the fact that the PSL, um, the, the DSTV Premiership and the PSL are having issues. DSTV and the PSL are having issues. So the league won't start the first week of August, apparently. This is the news coming out. Meaning that it may start second or third week because a new sponsor has to come and apparently that new sponsor could be Betway. So if a new sponsor has to come, the league could even start the third week of August or even the last week of August. What does that mean? It means that preseason just gets a little bit longer. Your signing of players gets better. If you sign a player now or next week, they will still have about three to four weeks to train with the team, which is not bad. It's good for us if that is the case. But my worry is if they somehow this new sponsor comes and says there will be no changes to plans and the league is starting first week of August, it means that we will be starting first week of August with the team, the team that is having preseason now. The only new player who was part of that preseason is Bongani Sam. And what happened to Bongani Sam? He's injured, Baba. Bam Kabi Lulimele. So my question is, out of the new signings, who really knows Kaiser Chiefs? Hmm? Who has trained with these guys in a week in, week out? Bongani Sam, you can argue, but he's injured, so he's also missed out. So what I'm saying is, our new signings aren't going to have time. And if we're still going to sign players like Apollis, if we're still going to sign players like Adams, if it's possible, Jaden Adams, Abo Van Vake, Abo Titus, if we're still going to sign players like Abo Faisal Saloum, if we're still going to sign these players, Abo Fiston Mayela, they still need to get used to Kaiser Chiefs and some of them still need to get used to, used to South Africa. And getting used to Kaiser Chiefs in South Africa is difficult especially Nabi Paul. Nabi Paul looks very intense, guys. Looks very intense. So I feel like a lot of the, maybe Abo Fiston and all of these guys will, will fit better to the Nabi style. But an Apollos, if it comes late, Nabi style looks very dangerous. But looks very dangerous. So let's see what happens. But other than that, I'm a Kosovo for life. Enjoy your weekend. And when the new signing, I hope we get new signings today, even tomorrow, even Sunday, even Monday, etc. I just pray for new signings. And apparently, Chief is going to be playing a friendly. I don't know if it's tomorrow. I think it might be tomorrow against Al Atid or something like that. Some Qatar team or something like that. But anyway, we will see if they're going to televise it. But if they do, I don't expect much if they do. We don't have a, like deadly strikers. Like we, have, we still have the same runners and stuff like that who couldn't fire. We have a problem at the back because we have injuries of Dove, Bongani, Sam, so we don't have all our defenders. Uh, our midfield problem, uh, we have good youngsters, 
but we don't know if they're going to take the next step, meaning there's no one proven. There's no one proven to guide the youngsters. And this is one thing I've often cried about, is that I need Chiefs to go and invest in a top quality midfielder who knows how to guide the Samkelo Zwanis, who knows how to guide the Nkosin Pilengon. Imagine being, imagine you enter Chiefs, we are again a first day. And then they're like, oh, Bruyam, you're the new player for Kaysen Chiefs. I'm like, y yes, I'm the new player. Then they're like, look at who your guide is going to be. We have Umar over there. <laughs> and we have Usitebe over there. <laughs> and there's a new guy. His name is Mtetwa. He's also coming. <laughs> you're going to be in good hands. And then you become a gom. Because these guys, as much as they are, have been good players outside in their teams, they are not anchors that should be driving the team. They are support players to a quality midfielder. Mtetwa, he was, used to be a support player to players like Jaden Adams and Abo Van Veek, etc. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm basically saying. Abo Mad wasn't the best player, but he was the support to the create, to the really good players. So, Sitebe, same story. Sitebe, I, that's when I'll leave it since he's not a player for kids and kids anymore. I'm a cause for life. Welcome Mama Kosi Network, welcome to the channel. You know, I made a video about this. I made a, a video and I had to remake a video because apparently Chiefs is also wanting to sign Veli Bai and they've asked uh, Cape Town Spurs to name their price because they want to sign Veli Bai. So also keep up. That is also interesting news. Chiefs wants Veli Bai. Amakos, it's happening. Baba, sign the guy. I'm